Hello everyone, my name is Chichi Yuen and welcome to Let's Make Poland Look Like Absolute Cancer. So today we have to continue our expansion somewhat. Um, I was thinking about maybe attacking the Soviet Union but the Great Purge is already on its way. I think it's like another 150 days until it's done and then the national unity will be all the way up there. So I don't know if I can actually beat them because they do have quite a bit of divisions they have 120 or 222 somewhere between that they have the same amount of military factories as us and the same amount of civilian factories so that might be an issue so the allies might be a better target but i'm not prepared to fight the allies so um you know we'll just have to go with it we're gonna start recruiting paratroopers because we'll need a lot of them if we actually want to defeat the allies so let's do that, let's deploy them, let's put them on high priority as well. And yeah, let's go. How many divisions do I have? Not enough. 51. Ugh. In the meantime, we'll, we'll just have to continue expanding our army because we need 550,000 to unsluge. But at the moment we only have 440 deployed, which means we need another 100,000 guys on the field of battle well not on the field of battle but just deployed um we'll get to that at some point i hope maybe in the meantime i'm not really happy about the amount of tanks i'm producing but i don't think there's anything i can do about it at the moment soviet accept of german soviet treaty that's good for the soviet union not so much for us why did i go with that is there any reason why I did that? I don't think so. Why did I pick that focus? I don't know. I don't know this focus tree. I don't know what's going on with this. It also gets reworked soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We can do this um, anti turn pact. Sure, let's do that. Why not? Oh, I forgot. I'm an idiot. That's why I was doing this. Because I can't just pick war with the USSR in 70 days. Could have done this straight away and just gone to war with the uh, Soviet Union. Well, we're not gonna do that. It's too late for that. The, prayer, the purge is almost completed anyway. Or at least by the time we can go to war with them, it will be completed. So instead we'll go to war with the Allies. Um, I guess we'll go to war through the Focus Tree. Because we might as well. We'll also reclaim Danzig by going Danzig or War, I think. Which we can bypass straight away. Which is good. Um, we have political power. What do I want? Limited exports. I think I want to go for free trade. Get a whole bunch of bonuses. Free trade is going to be good for us, I think. I don't know. I never played as Germany. I have no idea if it's going to be good. But I'm hoping it will be good. Also planning on invading Italy, which might not be historical correctness, but you know, it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna puppet everyone. I don't need allies, I'm playing as Germany. We'll just go and puppet everyone. Divisions are completed, good. We'll add them to the army. I also don't think I will invade through Belgium. Unnecessary at the moment. And I said I wasn't building a fleet. But I also have been rethinking about that. I do think I will need a small fleet. Nothing too major, but just something small. I do have 10 naval dockyards after all. So let's just build an army of destroyers. Not a big one. Just, you know, something to get us going. Oh, 100 destroyers. That seems like quite a bit. We'll start with 30. 30 destroyers will be fine. There we go. And we'll import from France. I don't know why I did that. Because we are going to war with them. Artillery is also still an issue. It's really holding back our development. So tanks are being deployed once again. Good. Good. How long would it take to deploy these guys? Oh, not long at all. Okay. Well. Can I start justifying on you? How long is it going to take? 230 days? Yeah, we're just gonna justify New France. I don't wanna deal with the focus tree. 
let's just skip it let's invade you a bit earlier than usual even though we are a lot weaker than you at the moment we should be fine let's deploy these guys 26 divisions Ooh la la how beautiful um we'll ship you to here and we'll also start deploying planes I do not have a good airfield, do I? I have this one. I do not have a good airfield to begin with. I should build one in Mosul land. Mosul land. The Mosul. The Mosul. We'll build an airfield there. That's gonna be a lot better for us, I think. How long is that actually going to take to deploy? Well, deploy, build. Not long at all, so. Yeah, we'll make that our main base of operations for the war. In the meantime, I guess we can start deploying planes. Do we have a lot of them at the moment? No. There are all my planes. Oh, here they are. Okay. I already deployed them. I was just thinking like, what happened to all my, to all my planes? Did they die or something? But no, they didn't. I am building fighters two a week, which isn't really good at all, but... You know, we'll take it. We'll take it for now. Anschluss. All of a sudden, we have 550k deployed. Um. Yeah, why not? It doesn't hurt to Anschluss, right? Anschluss has never hurt anyone before, so why would it now? What shall we do? We have tanks. We could go for medium tanks. It's it's an option. The Panzer III straight away. But I do kind of want to stay with light tanks, I think. Or heavy tanks. I could go for heavy tanks. I just don't see the point in going light tanks. Uh, by going medium tanks. Medium tanks. Uh, should we? I just don't have the industry to replace all my light tanks with medium tanks. So... I think I'm just not going to do that at the moment. I don't think it's beneficial to the German economy. Okay, so our airfield has been built. Let's ship the paratroopers there. Let's ship... Oh, I have even more planes here. What a time to be alive. We'll bring all the planes to here for now, I guess. Doesn't really hurt. Do I have my transports here? Oh. Do I not have transports? Or do I still have to deploy them? I still have to deploy them. Okay. That's good. And then I guess I will um, cut this part out where I deploy all of these guys one by one. Because it takes forever. Um, I think I need to do two at a time. All right, I'll be right back, I guess. All right, so the paratroopers are ready to go. The only thing I actually want to give them is... I think I want to give them support artillery. Yep, that's going to be nice. And I also think I do want to build a couple more transport planes here. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm not really confident I can do it with four at this point. So then I would have to stop production of something. You know what? We'll have to do it with four. If we cannot do it with paratroopers, we'll just have to figure something else out, I guess. We'll have to invade another place. We'll have to invade Belgium. Oh, don't worry about Belgium. They're used to it. Alright, we have to deploy you, we're on solution, everything is going well. I might as well destroy the axes, right? Or shouldn't I? There's no reason to destroy them. They are already in my faction? Oh, don't have to invite them, that's kind of nice. Um, this must be a bug. The German Reich has his three times in the axis, okay. Something wrong with the flags. Look, what the hell is going on? Game, what the hell is going on? I demand an answer. Alright. 
So let's hope we can actually take on France this episode. They're guaranteed by the United Kingdom with a surprise. And it's going to take about 150 days for this to kick off. Gary stuff. Gary stuff. Um, research slot. Let's go with Blitzkrieg. Yes. Anslush. Come on. Anslush everything. Anslush. Repleted uprising in Austria clearly shows that the people there long to united with the Reich. How can anyone say that Austria is not a German? Right? I agree with that statement, Hitler. I agree. Um, what should be the next thing? I think we should improve national spirit, but I cannot do that. Because what? We must control London and Paris. Well, guess we don't control those yet. Let's demand Sudetenland. We cannot do that. We do not have enough things deployed. We can reassess the Eastern claims, which is not a bad thing. Let's do that. Let's get a couple more claims. Military factories available. Well. Let's get more tanks. The question of Yugoslavia. We will put a squeeze on them because we can. We are Germany. Who doesn't want to put a squeeze on them as Germany? The Kingdom of Hungary wants to join the Axis. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I want to start boosting fascism. I don't think so. We can easily invade them. So why the hell would I do that? We'll just let them be. We'll annex them later. Well, annex puppet them later. Disperse the hit industry too. Um, we shall go with what? Resources could be good. For Germany. I normally never do that. Pick the research, um, the research tree, research, resources tree. So I could do that now if I wanted to, or I could do something useful like get anti-tank guns that I won't need against anyone. It's gonna be exciting. Is this strategy gonna work again? Am I gonna paratroop my way to victory? See it next time. On this channel be sure to subscribe leave and bloody blah, blah i'm kidding i'm not cutting yet the episode has only been going for like 10 minutes i'm not cutting yet yet oh how is this airfield doing good it's completely built and um, we should really increase everything we want more fighters we want more bombers we want more everything and um, close air support yes them deploy all the planes actually let's cancel that and let's deploy them again there we go that's all the close air support deployed the fighters deployed interwar bombers deployed and just other bombers transports and naval bombers don't actually need the naval bombers at the moment, but you know, whatever. Uh, naval bombers, do I actually have them? Might as well build them. They could be useful against Japan or something. Do I need to go to war with Japan? Ah, uh, I want to. I feel like I want to. Let's kick some Japanese butt. Um, submarine specialist. Armor Genius could be good. Let's go with the Armor Genius. Um, attrition could be really good. Let's go with the Vision Attrition minus 8%. That's always good. Losing losing less people. Right? Um, am I deploying more people? I am. With the tanks. I'm missing more tanks. Mammal. Hey, Mammal was given to Germany. Good. Good job, Lithuania. 
Let's go with Tanzic or War, which we can bypass. But they didn't give us... Um, they didn't give us Tanzic back. Can if root. You know, just saying. Can them in Slovenia at this point? Should I? And Slovenia. Or I could demand the Sudetenland. We'll demand Slovenia first. It's fine. I don't know the historical um, way to go. So we'll just figure out our own way. You know, just like it's meant to be. I am the Hitler now. I'll do it my way. We'll liberate everyone we can. Um, <laughs> So, we'll actually need to deploy some things. You can fly over here. And we'll send everyone else over France. Is that a good idea? Might be a good idea. It might not be a good idea. I don't know. I just do not know. Depends on how many fighters they send against me, but... I feel like they'll put everything into France itself. Oh, I forgot about this. I also need to send planes to southern France. Um, Just deploy fighters again. Come on. Send you to here. Nope, that's too far. Damn it. Um, guess the issue is I need Fighters 1, but they'll be turned into Fighters 1 over time. I don't know. We'll just have to deal with it. Um, planes. Do I have Naval Bombers Research? I do. Heavy Fighters? I don't have them, but I never use them anyway, so what's the point? We'll go with this. And what else shall we do with the Drunken Sailor? 1938. Yeah, sure, we'll pick it up. We'll definitely pick it up. A lot of troops that are ready for the invasion of Belgium. In case it's necessary, which I don't think it will be. You'll never know. It's good to have a backup plan. How long will this take? Another 20 days until we can go to war with France. I'm ready for it. I really am ready for it. I'm confident. This airfield on the front lines? It is. That is really bad. Why would you build an airfield here? If they attack my land, then I cannot launch these guys. That's not a good idea. Come on, Germany, what are you thinking? You're supposed to be smart about this. God damn it. Well, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, production for the tanks has picked up quite a bit. I think I want to produce even more tanks here. More light tanks, yes. Seems like a good idea. We'll double up. Justification is done. Let's go to war. I'm not gonna call in my allies because they're pathetic. Let's launch the airborne invasion and also the assault on the Maginot Line just to make sure they do not attack my paratroopers. We have landed in Paris. It doesn't look good at all. We have landed there. That doesn't look good either. Hey, we are successful in one place. That's good. We really need to capture Paris. I don't think I'm gonna succeed here. Oh, we actually took Paris? Why? How? I don't know. I'm not gonna question it. Hey, we have won. Good. I'm proud of you guys. I'm so proud of these guys. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Just know what to do. Um, let's send all paratroopers to Calais. As soon as we can. But I now will just have to focus on Britain. 
all of you can go to here there we go i need you to hurry up please take the train we have trains we have the invention um we have invented trains i am at war with what oh i have a war goal against yugoslavia this doesn't seem to be a good moment. I am just saying. In the meantime, I also have to cancel all of this. And stop that. And like I said, all of you just run. Run to Calais. Please. My planes also have to relocate to Calais. We'll let them fly for now. It's okay. Japan declared war on China. Have fun with that, Japan. Please fail and die. We want to import from Belgium. That doesn't seem like a good idea for us. We'll import from the Dutch East Indies. We'll kind of leave um, the Netherlands for now as an import situation. They have a lot of rubber available. So let's not go to war with them. For a while. Um, what the hell is this? We cannot do this because what? Yugoslavia exists? They do exist. Um. We have to be in a faction with Yugoslavia, is that it? Is that really true? I don't want to do it. Let's do something else. Let's go to here. Let's pick up army innovations too. How does that sound? In the meantime, let me do this real quick. I might place a cut here if necessary, but... I think it's only going to take a short amount of time. Do all of this. Watch my greatness. Send you to here. Alright, one of these ports has to be undefended, right? Let's gather our planes. We want to send most of our planes to the UK. Uh, my naval bombers. Where the hell are they? I have no idea. Southern England. Standing by. Standing by. You can go over the channel, I guess. Oh, here they are. And that seems good, yeah. All right. We want to do the invasion of Britain as well. This episode. I think we'll leave that for next episode. So guys, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, and I have to do the usual YouTube stuff. So um, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and like. Bye bye.